The mothership has landed. Montreal's Olympic Stadium is Montreal's most recognizable landmark and the symbol of the city. Designed for the 1976 Olympics, the building has been the center of controversy from its construction. Join me as I take the metro and explore Montreal's Olympic Park. Hey everyone, it's your boy Jay. Welcome to another episode of Journeys with Jay. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. Let's go. So welcome to another Montreal episode. So just taking in some sights and sounds around the neighborhood near my accommodation. So making my way to Station Berry to catch the green line in Montreal's Metro to get a ticket to head towards the Olympic Park. I'm going on the green line and a round trip ticket cost six dollars and fifty cents Canadian The 1976 Summer Olympics, officially known as the Games of the 21st Olympiad and commonly known as Montreal 1976, were held from July 17th to August 1st, 1976 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Montreal was awarded the rights to the Games in 1970 over the bids of Moscow and Los Angeles. It was the first and, so far, only Summer Olympic Games to be held in Canada. It is estimated that the cost of rent of the Montreal 1976 Summer Olympics was US $6.1 billion in 2015 dollars. These cost over rents makes it one of the highest on records for any Olympics. Twenty-nine countries, mostly African, boycotted the Montreal Games when the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, refused to ban New Zealand after the New Zealand rugby team toured South Africa earlier in 1976 in defiance of the United Nations call for a sporting embargo due to South Africa's racist apartheid policies.
The focal points of the Olympic Park include the stadium, Montreal Tower, the Spatua Stadium, the Biodome, and the pool area. The legacy of the Montreal Olympics is complex. Many citizens regard the Olympiad as a financial disaster for the city, as it faced debts for 30 years after the Games had finished. The roof and the tower weren't finished in time for the Olympics. The tower was completed 11 years after the Olympics, and the retractable roof that was designed never worked as planned. Nicknamed the Big O, the debate today is whether the structure should be demolished. Many see it as an endless money pit. Maintenance of the roof that is still problematic and costs about $700,000 per year and $32 million a year to maintain the entire park. In 2005, the stadium finally paid off all of its costs at a cost of 1.5 billion Canadian dollars. Demolition was expected to cost $2 billion, but recently plans were announced to replace the roof at a cost of $870 million. The roof will not be retractable, but include a translucent ring to allow light in. Construction should be completed by the next Olympics in 2028. This is part of the funicular that will take you to the top of the stadium or Montreal Tower. However, it has been closed for some time. When in operation, the funicular gave you some fantastic views of the Olympic Village of Montreal. This is a football stadium, the Spatula Stadium, and it is a soccer-specific stadium home to the CF Montreal. It is Canada's largest soccer-specific stadium. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Should they try to fix the stadium and the retractable roof one more time? Or should they just demolish the building and stop spending money on a stadium that is clearly very problematic? This area holds a little play area for children and a kind of food truck venue for you if you want to get a bite to eat, something hot or something cold. This area here has recorded the names of all of the athletes that attended from the various countries engraved on this aluminum plaque. Jamaica! Paisley Crawford, Trinidad, Jamaica, Donna Quarry, Cuba.
Barbados. Boom, 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 boom. La Barbar. La Bella Building. Bahamas. Barbados and the place Antigua, Argentina. Trinidad and Tobago. These two aluminum and concrete dome buildings house two theaters as part of a planetarium, part of the Space for Life Museum. Here is a look inside of the biodome. You do have to pay to explore it. I did not, so all you can see is the outside. The biodome was originally constructed as a velodrome which housed both track cycling and judo events. The biodome allows visitors to walk through replicas of four ecosystems found in the Americas. At the time, the Olympic Stadium was a feat of engineering. It was to house the first of its kind retractable roof and a 578 foot tower. The stadium cost $1.8 billion at the opening of the games and it wasn't even completed as yet. Located in front of the planetarium is a sundial which is the work of a Dutch artist. The sundial was offered to the city of Montreal in 1967 by the citizens of Rotterdam, Netherlands for the 325th anniversary of the founding of Montreal.
The Olympic Park houses its own metro station right underneath the park and from here I am looking to catch the subway or the metro back down to Berry Station. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep safe. God bless. It's your boy saying J out.